This is the Fluid Dynamics Climax CCST 200. In this video, we're going to uh, explain how to operate the machine. This machine recovers and recycles refrigerant. It pulls a vacuum on the air conditioning system. It charges the air conditioning system to its specification. It also adds oil. It is EPA certified for R134A air conditioning service. The CCST 200 control panel consists of a digital keypad, a display, high side gauge, low side gauge, and down below we have our machine taps, high side and low side, to be used when bringing refrigerant into the system or sending refrigerant out to the vehicle, and your high and low side system hoses. Your control panel has four main controls, start to begin an operation, enter to select an operation, stop to stop an operation, reset. Reset will bring you back to the previous menu or reset to the main menu. There are two up and down arrow keys to move be, uh, between operations. Your numeric keypad is used to enter uh, information such as evacuation time or charging amount. The CCST 200 setup consists of removing the back panel so that we can access the travel pin under the scale. We're going to connect the quick disconnect fittings to the hoses. We're going to connect the hoses to the machine. We're going to check the vacuum pump oil level and we're going to fill the internal cylinder. To remove the back panel of the CCST 200, there are six screws that we'll need to take out. Uh, two at the top, two in the middle, and two lower screws. Once the screws are removed, we're going to lift the back panel up over the wheels and set the back panel aside. To remove the travel pin, first locate the travel pin underneath the scale platform there is a number 10 nut. You'll need to loosen that nut and then remove the pin. Set the pin aside for future use. Locate the R134A quick disconnects in the bag that comes with the machine. Make sure the blue goes on the blue hose and the red one screws on to the red hose. Make sure that there is an O-ring in place and screw it on. To fill the oil bottle on the CCST 200, release the quick disconnect coupling holding the bottle in place. Open the cap. Add new oil from a fresh bottle. Fill to 200 cc's. Replace your cap. And replace into the quick disconnect. While the back's off the machine, it's easiest to see the vacuum pump oil level, you want to make sure your vacuum pump oil level is up to the level markers. We have uh, placed the uh, back panel back onto the CCST 200 and we're now ready to connect the system hoses. To connect the system hoses, locate the half acme ends, connect the blue hose to the blue port and hand tighten and the red hose to the red port also hand tightening. We are now ready to refill the internal cylinder on the CCST 200. Before filling cylinders on R134 equipment, first test the refrigerant source that you're going to be taking the refrigerant from. To do so, use a commercially available refrigerant identifier connecting the adapter that comes with the identifier to the tank 
taking a sample of the refrigerant in a vapor state. and detecting the type of refrigerant that's in the bottle. Now that we know our source of refrigerant is Pure R134A, we're going to connect our adapter that comes with the CCST200 to the refrigerant tank. This is a high side adapter, so we're going to connect our high side service hose, open the valve, open the virgin refrigerant valve. If you're recovering, if you're taking refrigerant from a recovery tank, make sure that you are connected to the liquid port. I'm going to turn the bottle upside down because we will be moving, transferring liquid from this tank to the internal machine. To begin the procedure, we're going to arrow down to next menu. Using the enter key, we will select next menu. Then we're arrow down to bottle filling. We will enter. We will tell the machine how much refrigerant we want to transfer from that bottle. Just enter. In this case, we said 10 pounds, so we entered one zero. Then it, the machine tells us that we can press start to begin. If we press start, it says to use the high pressure hose, connect to the internal, internal bottle, and press start. We will open our machine tap to allow the refrigerant to come into the machine. And the process begins. When working around air conditioning systems, several machine safety guidelines should be observed. First, make sure equipment users are certified to operate R134A equipment through an EPA recognized outlet. Second, make sure you use safety glasses and gloves uh, when working around refrigerant. Do not expose the unit to direct sunlight or rain. Always use in a well-ventilated area. Always test AC refrigerant tanks to ensure that they contain a minimum of 98% pure R134A. Recovering gases other than R134A can cause damage to this equipment and to your customer's AC systems. To program a sequential operation on the CCST200, we are going to select Automated Procedure, press Enter. We are going to program our vacuum time. In this case, we will program it for 30 minutes by pressing in 3-0. We are going to press Enter. We are going to enter the amount of refrigerant we want to fill into the vehicle. In this case, 2 pounds, 1 ounce, so we entered 2 zero, one and we're going to press enter. The machine will ask us to open the high and low side taps. And press start. The machine will go through a sequence of recovering the refrigerant, recovering the oil, and it will stop at the end of vacuum to allow you to put oil back into the system. With the CCSD200, after doing an automatic sequential operation, uh, the unit will stop at the end of the vacuum to allow you to charge oil. If you'd like to charge oil, open the right side panel exposing the oil charge bottle, turn the valve, and allow the amount of oil to go into the hoses that you'd like. You can use the gradation on there to, to determine how much oil is going in. Close your valve and then press start again to resume the operation. For assisted procedures, those would be recovery recycling by themselves, you just want to recover, or just vacuuming, or just charging oil and refrigerant, follow these procedures. First go to assisted operation until it flashes, or assisted procedure, until it flashes, Press enter, select which process you would like to perform. If you would like to do recovery recycling, press enter. The machine will tell you to open the high and low side pressure valves 
and press start. After starting the recovery process, the machine will pull the refrigerant out of the vehicle's air conditioning system, clean it up, and put it into the recovery tank. As it's doing so, you'll be able to see the screen to see how much refrigerant is being recovered. At the end of the process, check your oil bottle in the back of the machine to see how much oil was recovered. That's how, mu that's how much oil you will add back when you charge the vehicle. At the end of recovery, the machine may begin beeping and flashing air purge. If this happens, remove the left panel, exposing the air purge control valve, open it slightly, and let the air purge until it stops flashing. Close the valve and let the unit go through its operation until it ends the procedure. At the end of the procedure, the machine will beep. Just press reset to stop the beeping and the, mission, the process will be complete. To vacuum a system using assisted procedure, arrow down to assisted procedure, press enter, arrow down to vacuum, select your vacuum time. In this case, I'm selecting 30 minutes. I input three, zero. Enter, the machine says, Open high and low side pressure, then press start. So we've opened our valves and press start. If during the process we would like to leak test the system, we can press the stop button and wait for five minutes to see if the vacuum goes away. If the vacuum goes away, you might have a vacuum leak in your system. To charge oil into the AC system using the CCST 200, the system is in a vacuum. You've run the vacuum pump. The vacuum pump is stopped. Remove the right panel from the machine, and your oil bottle is then exposed. You'll open the valve until the amount of oil that you want into the vehicle has been sucked into the hoses and then close the valve. To use the assisted procedure for charging, arrow down to assisted procedure, press enter, arrow to gas filling, press enter, enter the amount of refrigerant that you will charge into the system. For two pounds, eight ounces, you'll enter 208, press start, and the machine will fill the system to the specified refrigerant charge amount. After charging the system, you may start the car to check your, your high and low side pressure. Before starting the car, be sure your valves are off. Before disconnecting from the vehicle, we want to make sure that the refrigerant that's in the hoses goes back in the vehicle. To, to make sure that this happens, we will close the high side system hose. We will open the valves. When the refrigerant pressures equalize, close the high side, then the low side valve. Then you can disconnect, close and disconnect the low side service coupling. CCST 200 system maintenance includes filter changes, periodically testing the scale, and ensuring that the vacuum pump oil is refreshed. Filter change notification will display on the machine after 120 pounds of refrigerant has been recovered. When you change the filters, also replace the vacuum pump oil.